Okay, so in today's video, we'll be showing how to um, convert a RA process uh, library B 3.5, uh, an application, uh, basically a sample application all the way from its, uh, its ACD file to a working HMI working together on an, an uh, a RS Logix Emulate 5000 chassis. So real quick, we'll go to the sample projects. Uh, this instance will be the Mosquito Station. I will be doing the sequencer and uh, probably another one as well. Uh, but we'll, I just want to show you, uh, basically this takes about 15 minutes, um, and I want to show you how quick it is. So once you have the file open, again, we're using the Mosquito Station is what we're going to be using. We want to restore our uh, Factory Talk uh, SE 7.0. As soon as you click next, make sure you are on, uh, you don't highlight the uh, restore directory. You want to just restore the app application. So make sure you do that. Uh, we're going to restore the application. It's restoring. Okay, so uh, at that point, open up the uh, PLC file. And this is version 18. Uh, if you have version 18, it's fine uh, to use that uh, just use make sure you use the uh, version 18 you have I actually are, I have already converted this to version 20 and all I did was um, come in here and change the controller type from what it was to a emulator processor because this is going to be an emulated process we're not using any hardware so in that instance I'll go ahead and change the name to 20 um, and so what, at this point, I want to make sure that my processor is down here and it's in slot two, right? So I want to just note where it's at. I want to go ahead and go online. Um, actually, so in slot two, I want to download. So as this is downloading, now I will say that um, I didn't have version 18, so what it did is it prompted me to change it already. I didn't have to go in and, and select the the controller type. It prompted me on what it asked me if what what uh, processor I'd like to use. So if you do run into that, it's not a big deal. Um, it's just something that you have to do. Um, and then we'll throw it in run mode, and that basically takes care of the PLC end. Um, so in this instance, we want to go ahead and minimize this real quick open up RS studio so the application that the, the in the um, the application that is currently in for the mosquito station uh, is currently a local application so it's not a uh, a view site edition network distributed it's not a, a view view edition network station it's a local so you want to go ahead and select local And in this instance, it, uh, we'll go ahead and open up the uh, Mosquito uh, Process Library. It's going to go ahead and open up. Now, by default, what it'll do, being this is the first time you've actually restored it and everything, it's going to load the processes like normal. Um, it's going to synchronize just like it, it, you just seen it do. Um, and then it's going to come up and verify that all the files are on your computer. So... On it. If the application loaded fine, then the first thing you should do, um, there's two thing, two major things you need to do. In RS Links Enterprise down here, you want to go in and you'll notice uh, just right click and open properties. Verify that it's not using alarms and events. You can, uh, but there's no. I don't believe there's anything to attach to. Um, but we're not using alarms and events, so that's no big deal. But we'll open up under RS Links, we'll open up our communication setup. The shortcut that is already there for the application is already named. All you have to do is point it to the, where you have your processor. In our case, we're using the 1789, which is the virtual backplane. Again, we're using slot 2. So we basically select slot 2, we hit apply accept changes. We want to come down and at the very bottom verify that the changes did take. If they did take then go ahead and click OK. The next instance of what you need to do um, 
so that you have access to run the, the client when you make it is you want to go into the, the runtime security. So the runtime security will come up with a bunch of uh, predefined stuff that you really can't read because honestly it was made by all the Rockwell people or, or whoever made the application. So what you need to do is you need to verify that you have a user down in your bottom of your system. If not, you need to make a user, uh, make a user group, and add it in. I, I'm actually an administrator, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to go up to, so um, after I've opened up my runtime security, I'm going to open up security accounts. I'm going to add. I'm going to hit administration, or administrators, and I'm going to click OK. Now at this point, it's going to go ahead and say that these weren't found because they're not. So just go ahead and click OK. It's going to auto-delete those. And all you're going to have is administrator. All right, so if I wanted to add another one, I just come in here and add authenticated users if I wanted to and have another one. Now all this is doing is make sure you save this too. But all this is doing is giving me the, the ability to sign into the, the client and the application when I start it. So at this point, we want to go ahead and launch the client. Uh, we don't want to launch what we already have. What we want to do is we want to make a new one. So we'll make a new one. We'll call it uh, Mosquito. And I would help if I spelled it right. Mosquito client. Um, and then we'll click next. Make sure again you know that this is not a network distributed system. It's not a network station. It's a local station. So click local station. And this is way that way you can uh, right here you can choose the correct application. If you do by chance you you restored it and you don't see it, all you need to do is close out the application, go in and uh, reboot your computer, come back, open it up, and it will be there. Uh, so there's rare instances that happens, but it does happen. Um, in this instance, where you select components, we're not using an initial display. Um, we're not using any client keys. You can choose that if you want, if you wanted to just see what it does, but we're not using it. Um, and they are using the uh, macros. So that I believe they're using the uh, start macro right here, which is called... Uh, uh, the uh, mosquito client um, so what we'll do is in the startup macro we'll, we'll pick uh, mosquito client click next actually for shutdown we want to shut down okay so um, and then in this instance we want to go ahead and uncheck everything that is not needed and make sure we click maximize maximize window click next and then you go to uh, the point where you are creating the actual client. So now it's creating the client. It's able to log in because we did our security correctly. If not, at that point right there, it would have prompted you to sign in. Uh, you would have been unable to sign in, so you would have had to add your security to the runtime security. So as it's, it's making the system, It will go ahead and start up as soon as it's finished. Um, it will load one thing by uh, basically based, uh, based upon the uh, the startup macro. It will load everything. So at this point, the application is running. Uh, we have our basically our site map down here at the very bottom. Uh, you can go to different things. Uh, you can come up here on the auxiliary systems. Um, if you have any alarms, all you do is you know, basically come up to alarms right here and reset the alarms. In our case, we didn't have any alarms. Um, you want to go ahead and start both systems. So you can start the uh, Mosquito Pump 1, uh, start Mosquito Pump 2. And then at that point, you can come back up here to the Mosquito Station and watch uh, the process run. So as the process is starting, starting you can kind of go in and see that what it's waiting on. So it gives you an indication that the, it's open in the valves. Um, you can look at the pump and see that it's starting right now. It currently started. Um, so you can you can look at the valves and see what they're doing. That that's currently opening. 
Um, so it's just different processes of, of what's going on. So you can see that the first station is already open or running. The second station is running now. Um, you can just open up the, uh, the valve controls and see just basically how these, uh, how the, the process, uh, process works as far as that goes. And then basically you can come in and look at the health, the diagnosis, diagnostics of it. Um, if there's any alarms, you can acknowledge alarms. Um, you can throw it into program mode or operator mode if you wanted to. So if you wanted to, to operate it, um, you, you could. Uh, in, in that case, you could come back and, you know, uh, open and close it, well, you know, whatever you wanted to do. Um, so at that point, we can actually open. See, and it, it's showing you that basically it, it's out of, it doesn't have control over it right now. So you can request maintenance mode. Um, there's a, a lot of different things you can do with this software um, as far as these process objects. Uh, you know, as far as the that this group of uh, this library of stuff, uh, what I would like to, to highlight is now you're able to go into the actual program and say, for instance, you want to look at the controls for a pump like P50 or something of that nature. Like say, if we come in and we want to look at the the P50 controls and see what each one of these did, we could look for P50 uh, P50 underscore motor and then look for the, uh, the actual tags, right? So we could come in and if we wanted to investigate that a little bit more, we could look at the P50 and we could come in and look for that tag. So uh, this is a rather big illustration of, of what's going on, but uh, you could kind of see exactly what the uh, the block does and, and, and see exactly what's going on and, you know, kind of dig into it. So this would be the valve. Uh, we still have a little ways to go. So this is the actual, this, this is the tag that is for this block right here. So everything in this block right here, if you happen to go in and look at the, um, you can see the label, the, the, everything, everything about it really, diagnostics, um, basically the permissives uh, that it has, um, the interlocks that it has, you know, if you wanted to bypass them of that nature. But you can kind of kind of play with things and see how things go, um, you know, because you can kind of see at this point the interlocks of it. Um, you know, kind of see what, what really is holding it out. So you can kind of jump around and, and see what all this block can do uh, and how this block ties into uh, the front end of the HMI. So what we will do, um, I just want to kind of show real quick how easy it was to convert the application from the, uh, the process library of the, the 3.5 um, and, and show that how, you know, how you can easily get it working and then start just kind of learning it on your own, kind of playing with it, seeing what the functionality of it is and um, you know, seeing how it works with the HMI. So this is not limited to, you can add other sections right here. You can, you know, like drag and, and make different, uh, different controls. You could come in here and, and edit it all you, all you want to. And we may do that. We may on the next video show that, uh, you know, add like a different section and like another pump or, um, and show just, uh, just how easy it is to, you know, modulously control something or modulously, uh, program um, the the PLC end or the, the CLX end and the HMI end so that you can you get both the systems working together seamlessly really fast and um, you know it just makes programming that much easier so this again was a sample code uh, I wanted to show and within 15 minutes I wanted to show how easy it was to get it running on an emulated software with no absolutely no chassis whatsoever or no hardware whatsoever uh, but to get it fully functional, uh, actually running and um, having, you know, having that said, we will be doing other stuff with this. So I'll probably do like another video on this to show uh, what the valves do um, or how to control a valve 
you know, how to add a valve, uh, how to, how to control a pump, how to, um, add a pump, um, just different stuff, you know, diff, uh, maybe some, some charts, some graphs, um, outlet pressures, um, just different stuff with that. Um, you know, if you'd like to see more, um, just let me know, you know, if you'd like to see more on this, uh, type stuff or this type of atmosphere, um, a little bit more in depth, or if you'd like to see different, you know, maybe some, some, uh, different topics that you, you know, you might want to see, just drop me a line, let me know, what, you know, uh, what, what your area of focus is and, and maybe what you'd like to see. Um, this is just mainly, uh, like I said, this is more of a factory talk, uh, factory talk SE working with, uh, the process objects or the, the, uh, uh, sorry. The, uh, this is the sample code for, uh, uh, basically for the, uh, mosquito. It's the, uh, process, process library. So basically process objects, uh, more or less like a, a version of plant packs. Uh, not so much plant packs, but, um, process like, like a private process library. And this is, uh, version 3.5. So the, again, I just want to show you how easy it was to get it up and running. And, uh, we'll go out, go back and go through some of the other stuff in a later video. I didn't want to eat up too much of your time right now. Uh, we're already at 16 minute mark. So, uh, if you would just drop me a line, let me know your thoughts, uh, comments, uh, be good to hear from you. And, and uh, again, I appreciate your time. Thank you.